This is the third part of the tutorial for the fully functional 3x4x5 by MF8. The last two, I solved the shape and then these two inner layers. Now all that's left is obviously the last two outer layers. And the only difference between these and the inner layers is that they have another color on them, the white or the yellow. And that makes it a bit more difficult. So the first thing I want to do for this is to get the three inner ones. So I'm going to put this white up here, and instead of putting it directly up, since that messes up these two, I'm going to move it out of the way first, and then I'm going to move this down, switch it with the white, and put it back up. Now this inner row and this inner row is good. And something to notice about these is that, as I mentioned earlier, these two pieces work together as one corner. They're just extensions of this 3x3. Three three. So corner, 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 edge, and edge. So I had to simplify them. But before I do that, I notice right now this whole row is complete, so I'm going to put that up here first. And I'm going to try to solve the white first. So I want to get the edge pieces first for this one, get the cross like before, and then I'm going to do the corners afterwards. So I'm going to put this one over here. To do that, I have to switch just these two directly opposite of each other. So R2, U2, R2, U2, R2. And then put this one back. And this one, I want to put it up here, just flip it around once. This one, take it out of the way red and white. Bring this one down here, replace it, and put it back up. So now the cross is done, and this corner piece is already solved. This one is not. So look to see if there's any more that are solved. In this case, this one, the blue and white. So I want to match that up with this edge piece. So I'm going to move it out of the way, bring this edge piece to the yellow side. And this is messed up, but I'm going to put it back after I connect them. So I'm going to leave it at that. This one, I want to put it here. So what I'm going to do is to put this edge piece and switch it with this one. So I'm going to take it here. I'm going to do R2, U2, R2, U2, R2. And that simplifies it. And before I do anything else, I want to swap this one over again. So I'm going to take these two edge pieces now and swap these two. Same algorithm, R2, U2, R2, U2, R2. And now put this one back. And now I have to simplify these two corners. And to do that, I just have to swap these two lat outer corner pieces. So for that, I'm going to do R2, just one layer. U2, R2, U2, R2, and that simplifies it. But that also messes up this one, but I can worry about that afterwards. So, I'm going to put this one up here. So like before, I'm going to move this piece up. What I want to do is to get these two corners swapped so that the white and reds are both facing in the same direction. So I'm going to put those both on the right. R2, U, R2, U invert it. R2, F2, U inverted, F2, D, R2. Put this one back. And now I want to put this, swap this edge piece with this edge piece. And then the whites and reds will be complete. So one in front, one on the right. R2, U, R2, U, R2, 2U, R2, 2U, R2, U, R2, you invert it, R2. So now I can put it back here, and I have one corner piece left, which is this one. So I'm going to put, again, put this one up here, and I'm going to swap these two again, so that the white and orange this time are both facing in the same direction. Put them both on the right, R2, U, 
R2, you invert it, R2, F2, you invert it, F2, D, R2. Put this one back. And now I want to swap this edge piece with this edge piece. R2, U, R2, U, R2, 2U, R2, 2U, R2, U, R2, U inverted, and R2. And just put it back down here. Okay, and now in this case, everything else here is pretty much simplified. Because although it's not simplified like this, in this particular case, I just have to do R2, U2, R2, U2, R2. And that solves the puzzle. So that's how you solve a 3x4x5. Thank you for watching.